as it was announced by Royal Decree uh, earlier this week, um, Bahrain is definitely putting in VAT on the 1st of January. So welcome to the first of a series of blogs that we're going to be doing over the course of the, the next uh, few months as we track the, uh, the, the, uh, the progress of the VAT, new legislation coming out, and of course we'll be offering uh, some advice or some uh, tips predominantly around how you will uh, uh, in, in, introduce the VAT to your ERP systems. This isn't really a surprise, bearing in mind um, both Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates who, who have also introduced VAT already and have uh, helped uh, uh, bail out Bahrain financially. They obviously want a way of confirming how they're going to get their, their money back. And of course VAT is, is, is a way that the Bahraini uh, authorities can generate uh, revenue to, to help with that endeavour. Um, I, I think the lessons learned um, previously uh, with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates is that this is not going to be a soft landing. This is going to be um, a, uh, a tax regime that's going to be introduced and we're probably going to see fairly um, uh, harsh uh, penalties right from the get-go. Um, I think that worked very, very well for both Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. Um, and unlike a lot of Western countries that tend to have a much softer approach to any changes, in the GCC, we're actually seeing a much harder approach, and I think that's going to raise the level of compliance generally in the, in the region. Um, so I think that's, that's actually a good thing for the authorities because it lifts people up. What it means though is that every company in Bahrain needs to make sure that they uh, apply all of the correct um, uh, changes that they need to do to become compliant for VAT. And that's not just about calculating the 5% tax, which is the debate we assume, but also making sure that your invoices have the right information on you're producing the correct reporting and you're capturing the correct data in your systems. Our next video will be uh, about some of the tips and tricks that you can use that you know companies should have uh, uh, adopted when they're rolling out in KSA and the UAE, which will help you get ready to ultimately be uh, uh, compliant for the 1st of January 2019.